And it's interesting, talking about that, Stephen, you talk about ESCOM and everything that we've heard this week, and much of the feelings that we're not making progress mm -hmm. in understanding what's gone wrong, right? Multiple meetings, multiple people speaking just on the intelligence report, people saying, well, I heard about it, but I didn't actually mm -hmm. see it. So why? Why yes. then, if something was so important and put together, was it not circulated mm -hmm. among the people who needed to know? Well, absolutely. Back to the other issue today, also dominating question and answer sessions with the president this afternoon. The U.S. ambassador claiming that a vessel that docked in Simonstown in December was taking arms to Russia to boost its war effort in Ukraine. But does South Africa have weapons to even supply Russia? Well, let's get the view now of defense analyst John Stupert. John Stupert, a very good evening to you. Thank you so much for being with us tonight. Um, let's start right there. Russia has a bigger military with much more resources than South Africa does. So what could we possibly have been supplying them with? That's an excellent question, and I think that's what everybody wants to find out, is just what it is exactly we're supplying. I think the, the current theory of, of ammunition and arms, at least according to what the Americans are accusing us of supplying, it's, it's difficult to understand just what this would be exactly. I, I would suspect the Denel stocks, um, and if, assuming we even took from South African Defense Force stockpiles, I would expect them to be very low in the current situation, given the deplorable state of the defense industry and the generally deplorable state of the South African Defense Force in terms of its um, uh, budgetary and, and sort of operational readiness um, applies. So I think in terms of what we can supply is not really well known. I think those in Cape Town would be yelling at me and saying, what about those artillery shells that are produced in Somerset West? Those are made by Rheinmetall Donnell, which is a, a majority-owned German company who would, I think, uh, rather be caught dead than selling uh, artillery shells mm. to, to the Russians at this point. So, yeah, it's a big question. I'm skeptical, but at this point, we can only really hypothesize. And the question came up today in Parliament, John Steenhazen from the DA, asking President the president didn't say, no, it's not true. South Africa did not supply weapons to Russia. He only said that this is a conversation to be had at a later date. What does that then mean for this situation? Is this, is this the beginning, perhaps, of a full-on spat with the Americans? I, I don't think it's a spat if we... If if America has decided we're persona non grata as far as this is concerned. This accusation today is a very, very serious one. It's, I don't think America would make this kind of um, accusation from diplomatic channels lightly. I don't think they would do it based on any light or shaky intelligence. So I think as far as it, it relates to where do we go from here, I think it's, it's very much ball in South Africa's court to walk this back. The president's response in, in Parliament today to Stian uh, question uh, was frustrating, to say the least. It's been six months since the ship was in, in port. Um, we've been promised answers for six months since then, and none have materialized, only for the president now to kick the touch again and say, well, you know, all, all in good time, except kind of has been good time. It's been more than good time. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I think the, the, the problem is we need to tread very carefully here because it, Government politics on a national level is one thing, but we're starting to see here that international relations isn't just a one-way street. We can't make these promises of non-alignment, have these questions are raised by the Lady R potentially supplying South African arms and ammunition to the Russians in their war in Ukraine, and then expect America to do nothing, who happens to just be, also be one of our largest trade partners. Right. There will be consequences, and I think and we're starting to find that out. And the issue of non-alignment, John, was already controversial around February because South Africa and Russia had mil uh, joint military exercises which actually coincided with the anniversary of the Russian invasion of neighboring Ukraine. Back to uh, these weapons, we're yet to find out what kind of weapons they are. Would it be easy to draw a link between what South Africa allegedly at this point sent to America and whether or not that was indeed used in the war? And does it even matter how much weapons or the kind of weaponry that was shared? I, what we said to Russia would be, I think it would be very hard to trace if they're not complete systems. If they're complete systems, meaning a, a full drone with the wings and propellers and all that kind of jazz, uh, yeah, we would see that very quickly. It would emerge. Uh, there is a lot of attention and scrutiny in the Ukraine war on both sides as to what systems are being used there. So I think I don't think we'd be so stupid. I hope we wouldn't be so stupid as to send complete systems if we're going to go down this path. I think it's a lot harder when you look at things like guidance components for drones, for missile uh, uh, 
warheads uh, and things like that, where we do produce those things. It's a question as to whether those things are compatible with Russian systems. But, but you know, for there, we're talking about much smaller um, stockpiles or much smaller uh, units or, or little bits and pieces being exported that could have a very material difference in the Russian war machine if they're compatible and if they work. Russia, for example, has it, – it's quite well known now that they're, they rely heavily on their, their um, guided missile uh, or ballistic missile uh, inventory and are, are burning through that at a high rate. So I think in that regard, maybe, you know, we, there, there's a look – you know, we, we should look at perhaps – what kind of components could we supply and in what quantity? Um, you know, I think that's something that wears, bears scrutiny. Very hard to track once they're in theatre, however. Mm -hmm. So it really would need to be done from this side. John Shepard, good to speak to you. Thank you so much for being with us tonight, Defence Analyst, speaking to us on the latest news coming. An allegation from the American ambassador that South Africa supplied weapons to Russia late last year.